Hi, Steve. Uh, Brian Wood with the NBC Sports Bay Area. Um, both sides got off to, to a bit of a slow start tonight. I'm wondering, do you think that what happened earlier today in the Capitol had anything to do with that? Uh, I, I thought both teams were playing uh, great, great defense, um, Brian. Um, there was a strange energy in the air um, at the start of the game, and that may have been a factor. Um, but but I saw two teams really competing, and uh, you know we have gotten so much better at the defensive end uh, over the last uh, week or ten days. And the Clippers, obviously, um, after last night's loss uh, to San Antonio, I thought they came out and played a, a great defensive game. So maybe a, a combination of all that. Uh, hi, Ken. Carlos Ramirez, NBC Bay Area and Telemundo. Uh, what are you most looking forward uh, for the rematch against the Clippers in a couple of days? Uh, you know, it's, it was a good measuring stick for us tonight, uh, you know, to, to have the start that we had and, uh, still have a chance to win. You know, it speaks volumes for the growth of this team. Uh, we're, we're definitely a, a different team than we had, uh, than we were, you know, a week and a half ago. And, um, you know, 3 0 probably won't have 13 points again. And, you know, to still have a chance there, you know, says a lot about, you know, us defensively. And, you know, you got to give the Clippers credit. You know, they're, they're a seasoned team, a uh, ton of experience. And, you know, they just executed down the stretch, uh, a little four point swing there late with Kawhi and free throws. And then, uh, Nicholas, Nicholas Batum with the two trays in the corner, you know, kind of iced it for us. But, um, you know, we're close and, you know, we got all season to get better. Uh, you know, just win the game, supposed to win and, and roll the dice against the the, the, the better teams and uh, try to steal some here and there. What do you think was the largest offensive issue for you guys tonight? Uh, just, um, you know, not, not a ton of rhythm or flow. I mean, you know, we, we played a, a – a team that's going to be, you know, at full strength like they were tonight, one of the best defensive teams in the league with a, t a ton of length. And so they, uh, they did a really good job. I thought they played an excellent defensive game. Um, you know, they hounded Steph and we couldn't find a rhythm. Um, but I was really proud of the guys. I mean, they, they hung in there the whole game. Um, our second unit led by Eric Pascal came in, did a fantastic job in the fourth to uh, help us take a lead and, and uh, you know, we had a shot, but um, give the Clippers credit. They, they played, they played really well. He's Andrew. He's Andrew Wiggins to guard uh, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, is that, is he basically your, your prime wing stopper at this point when you're going against guys like Kawhi? Yeah. Andrew, Andrew and Kelly both, you know, there's um, in this league, you, you have to have size and length on the, on the wings to do, to guard people like Paul George and, and, uh, Kawhi Leonard. So um, both uh, both Kelly and and Andrew have been really good defensively. Uh, I thought they were excellent again tonight, and so it's a it's a really positive sign. I, I love this team. I love our our guys. Um, they're they're great great guys. They they they're competing like crazy. Um, they're absorbing things. They're getting better every day, and uh, it's fun to see them every morning when I come into the gym. So. Uh, this is a really, really good group, and we're going to improve quite a bit over the course of the season. Andrew, how do you feel like you did against uh, Kawhi Leonard? I don't know exactly what his numbers were, but he, he shot a pretty low percentage. Um, I feel like I did okay. You know, could have done better. Um, but he's a tough guard. You know, he has a lot of stuff in his bag. You know, can score at all three levels. So I was just trying to make it hard for him. That was it. Is that an assignment that you look forward to having, kind of defending the other team's top perimeter score? Uh, I just know it's there every game, you know. Um, I know it's there every game. I know I got to bring it because uh, if I take a break, take a breath, you know, they're on my neck, you know, so I got to stay with it, grind, and, you know, just stay, stay on them, stay aggressive, make it hard for them. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, Dre, Jason with Crown 4, how you doing? I'm good, how about you? Good, man. Uh, was it uh, difficult getting up for today's game, given uh, all the events uh, in our nation's capital? Um, man, I wouldn't necessarily say difficult getting up for the game due to the 
things that's going on, obviously, it's somewhere in your mind. Um, you know, it's ridiculous and, you know, all of those things. Uh, but overall, you know, we still got to play better than we played today, although I thought defensively we were pretty good. Uh, we got We just need to be better offensively. Draymond's obviously done a ton for you guys since he's returned, but he's not really shooting much. Uh, he did it a little bit more in the second half, but do you need more of, from him as a scorer, particularly if they defend you like they did tonight? I've never, I've never worried about Draymond as a scorer. You know, he, he sometimes he scores, sometimes he doesn't. He does so much for us um, at both ends, you know, defensively, obviously, and then offensively, he handles the ball quite a bit and great screen setter. And um, I think the thing with Draymond is, um, you know, he's uh, he's just now, I think, getting into. Uh, the condition he needs to be in. He played 31 minutes tonight. Uh, I thought his conditioning looked better than it has. And as the uh, as the conditioning comes, he'll have his legs underneath him. He'll start to get more aggressive offensively. Okay. Was that the toughest defense like you this? guys have faced, would you say? Say it again. Was that the toughest defense you think you guys have faced so far? Yeah, just trying to figure everything out, trying to figure out the schemes that they run. But I feel that the next game may be way better if we just – because like we're going to study film the next day and just um, do like a little pre-runs, um, extra pre-runs and stuff in practice. So it would be fine. James, what do you take from a game like this when you you face such a physical presence as Serge Ibaka? Just make sure that I'm physical as well. Just have that equilibrium, that equal balance, and just make sure that I just – be physical as well. So, Are there ways you can take advantage of his physicality? Yeah, just use my agility. What's that? How, how is the speed of the game going for you now? Uh, the speed of the game is way better. Everything is starting to slow down. So I'm getting way better on the defensive end, most definitely. But I'm still trying to study film and just get better because I have a lot to improve on. So I'm not nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to just stay in the lab until I get better. And that's just how it is. Uh, what are you most looking forward to for the rematch against the Clippers? Just make sure we, just make sure that we watch more film, make sure that we just stay more in tune as a team and just have that chemistry, make sure, make sure we execute on, the, on both ends of the floor and just make sure that we just have that intensity the whole game.